I want one of my sons to get married to Chioma, the maid. How can father come up with such senseless idea? How can he for start local village maid on me, mom? So because of that, you want me to stoop so low for a commoner, a common palace maid? Listen, I don't care who she is, I don't care what happens, I'm not doing it. Chioma, or whatever her name is, can go to the house and burn. It is about you losing what rightfully belongs to you as the heir. You have done nothing wrong to me. But my life is at stake here. I'm going. Shama. I've warned you several times to let her be. She's mine. Then be ready to die, Afro. Because that in this lifetime will not allow you to take Chama. This war has started. I have a deadly gift for her. And that war you shall get ready to die. What you do? Are you mad? Do you want to spoil this for me? I will not have anybody come between me and Chama. You don't have to be treated like one of the maids. Remember? That way you begin to get used to royalty and begin to prepare yourself to be my queen when I become the next king. I've been having sleepless nights because of this girl. You put another man to take her away from me. Under my nose. Mom, it's not going to happen. Then choose, right here and now, amongst my sons, who would you like to be with? What? Choose? She has a bad kidney. She requires a kidney transplant urgently. I am the heir to the throne, Father. By tradition, I am the next king of this kingdom. Father, hey, if you do this, Father, I would leave this kingdom never to return. Father, if you do this, I am going to rid myself of every royalty in me.